And today, Harry Smith spoke exclusively with the president, and Iran was on his mind. Good evening, Harry. Russ, good to be with you. Uh, the president had three specific groups in mind he was trying to communicate with. First, the Iranian hierarchy. Second, his critics at home who are suggesting he's not doing enough. And third, the people on the streets of Tehran who are risking their lives to protest the results of last week's election. Do you have a message for those people on the street? I absolutely do. Let, first of all, let's understand that uh, this notion that somehow these hundreds of thousands of people who are pouring into the streets in Iran uh, are somehow responding to the West or the United States. Uh, that's an old distraction that I think has been trotted out periodically. Uh, and that's just not going to fly. And I'm very concerned, based on some of the tenor of, uh, and tone of the statements that have been made, uh, that. Um, the government of Iran recognize that the world is watching and how they approach and deal with people who are, through peaceful means, trying to uh, be heard uh, will, I think, uh, send a pretty clear signal to the international community about, about uh, what uh, Iran is and, and is not. Uh, and uh, you know, we respect Iran's sovereignty and we respect uh, the fact that uh, ultimately the Iranian people have to make these decisions. And uh, I think ultimately the Iranian people uh, will obtain justice. People in this country say you haven't said enough, that you haven't been forceful enough in your support for those people in the street, to mm -hmm. which you say? To which I say the last thing that I want to do is to have the United States be a foil for uh, those forces inside Iran who would love nothing better than to make this an argument about the United States. That's what they do. That's what we're already seeing. We shouldn't be playing into that. There should be no distractions from the fact that the uh, Iranian people are seeking to uh, let their voices be heard. Uh, what we can do is bear witness and say uh, to the world that the incredible demonstrations that we've seen uh, is a testimony to, um, I think, the, what Dr. King called uh, uh, the arc of the moral universe. It's long, but it bends towards justice. What the White House wants to make sure of is that it does not become a scapegoat for either the high, any of the hierarchy in Iran, either the Ayatollah or Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. And that's why his words were so measured and so clear. Russ? Harry Smith at the White House, thank you very much. And you can see all of Harry's exclusive interview with President Obama beginning Monday on The Early Show as they talk about North Korea, the economy, and Dick Cheney.